Hello again, let's do more business. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC says government is in the process of establishing an investor protection fund to ensure deposits are safe. The fund will also be used to compensate and cushion investors who lose their investments to collapsed or distressed licensed operators. The Bank of Ghana, SEC, and the licensed operators will be required to pool resources to fill the proposed fund. Head of Policy and Research at SEC, Emmanuel Ashonkakai said, reveal this at the public lecture in Kumasi on Ponzi scheme. Speakers at the lecture emphasized both Ponzi and pyramid schemes are dangerous and fraudulent investment ventures. Incessant public outcry over locked up capital of innocent depositors and investors have been characterized by demand for state intervention. Head of Policy and Research at the Securities and Exchange Commission, Emmanuel Ashon Katai, says establishing an investor protection fund will address investor concerns. We are an investor protection fund. In fact, we have it in many countries so that if an investor loses his money from a licensed operator, we can go to the fund and use the fund to compensate that particular investor. The Security Action Commission is going to put some money into it. Bank of Ghana is going to put some money into it. The government is going to put a little money into it. Then all licensed operators are also going to put some money into it. And then any income uh, we derive from the investor, like the, uh, the fees, we're going to take a little bit of the fees and put it into it. So we are going to look at various sources of funds to create that fund for the protection of investors. Oh, this year we are we, we are going to, we are submitting it to Minister of Finance, who will table it probably to Parliament to create the fund. All right, we stay on this development. Analyst Wahen is head of research at Data Bank. Good evening, sir, and thanks so much for your time. Good evening, and thank you. Right, so the news is out there, investors put, Investor Protection Fund, and we are told that the Bank of Ghana, SEC, and all licensed operators will be required to pull resources together to feed the proposed fund. Your thought on this, uh, on this news, is it possible? Yes, I think, um, I mean, uh, based on what I've just heard, I think it's a good move because uh, in the short term, it will provide some confidence in the financial industry, I mean, asset management industry to be specific. Mm. So I think that is a good move that will actually uh, help the industry in the short term. But in the long term, I am still trying to get my head around such a fund because, I mean, if the industry is well regulated, I right. mean, if the players, the asset managers uh, stick to the, to the rules of the game, I mean, a fund like this might not be necessary. Because, mm. I mean, the point is, <clears throat> Asset management, asset management companies are not supposed to promise deposit, are not supposed to promise return. Right. You understand? So whatever investment that they take from the public is invested in some security. It could be a stock or bond or to some extent real estate uh, property. So the underlying assets are okay. If the underlying assets are okay, then there wouldn't be the need for a fund. I mean, the only thing that could be a problem is liquidity. Mm. And, and if there, there is some structure around that to provide liquidity in the event that an asset management company is under pressure or something, All right. that is a what I'm right. But I mean... Alex, yes, let me quickly cut you there. Um, but we know that investments are risk, and so uh, you, we, we should probably consider this as investments gone bad. But why should we actually set a fund to be able to uh, compens uh, compensate exactly, investors? You must also look at the circumstances uh, that we find ourselves um, in at this moment, uh, where, I mean, uh, public confidence in the financial sector is actually waning. And, mm. and I think uh, it's the hopes on the government to, to try something, I mean, to, to um, 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 implement any initiative that can help uh, reju rejuvenate the, the, the confidence in the sector. Right. So I think that in the short term, a move like this might not be a bad idea. Right. But in the long term, if the industry is being well, the industry is well regulated, mm. uh, I think we don't, we don't, uh, we don't, we wouldn't need such a fund. 
All right, Alex Wahe is research, um, head of research at Data Bank. And thanks so much for your time. But news just in SEC has actually released a statement on the status of Gold Coast Security and SEC says the Securities and Exchange Commission wishes to bring to a notice of clients of Gold Coast Fund Management Limited and the general public that it is fully aware of the plight of investors who have placed funds with a company and unable to redeem same on maturity. Gold Coast Fund Management Limited have, has had numerous complaints lodged against it and the Commission is currently hearing these complaints in accordance with the provisions of the Securities Industry Act 2016 at 929. In view of, um, it added that in view of its significant size in the asset management industry, the Commission remains in constant engagement with the company with the aim of securing a sustainable solution to its liquidity challenges and the numerous complaints lodged against it. The Commission has also reviewed, received proposals from Gold Coast Fund Management Limited with the aim of resolving its obligations to its clients and investors. SEC is pre uh, presently reviewing the viability of the proposals and wishes to assure all invested parties, interested parties that it is doing so in the interest of investor protection. The Commission shall, however, continue to receive, hear, and adjudicate complaints against Code Code Funds Management Limited. And it goes on and on. And this was actually issued by the um, Securities and Exchange Commission. But meanwhile, they've actually asked them to stop taking new deposits and also pay those um, whose funds are locked up or reach an amicable understanding with them. All right, that's how we wrap up tonight on Business with me, Sandra S. And you can catch more news on our website, myjohnline.com forward slash business. Carry on.